Hey guys. All right, I don't even think I can get them all on camera. This is the alcohol ink I still have in my possession. Um, this is crazy because I don't even use it that much anymore. But anyway, it's definitely on the no buy list. Um, I have some metallic colors. I don't know that I've ever used most of them, but anyway. Um, we're gonna try to use some of these today. So I saw a video from a scrapbooker here on YouTube who has been having a huff, tough time um, dealing with discrimination in the scrapbooking and art world. And I am so sorry, Essie Ruth makes. I will link her channel below. Go show her some love and support anyway. Um, I don't know that she's going to be putting out much or any new content, but um, I do appreciate the content she has put out and I will have no problem with saying that pu publicly. She's a fabulously creative and should be judged on that and that alone. And that's the end of that conversation. Anyway, I she was using a sticker, a couple of different stickers, but one of them um, I had to go do some searching and cute things from Japan website, which is a site I do like. Um, has a sticker from a company called Moo, M-U, and they're called a watercolor sticker. They seem to be more of a rub-on, but anyway, they're really interesting. I'll put a, a link down below. You can go check them out. Um, they're on a transparent background, so whatever you put them on, um, you know, whether it's dictionary paper or layers of other things, shows through. I thought they were really fascinating. Again, go watch some of Essie's videos, especially the last one where she's talking um, about what happened with her. Um, which is an interesting conversation to hear her talk about, but also um, the page she create, pages she creates in her journal where she writes about what happened are also interesting. And anyway, I thought, well, I don't really want to buy that and order a bunch of stuff from Japan. Um, nobody close by, of course, has it. And so, but I thought, you know, I've got clear label paper from Avery from back in the day when I used to play with that kind of thing. And I've got lots of watercolor paint. I could just make my own. I could make something on paper, scan it, and then like print it on the clear label paper. And then I thought, yes, I could do that. But I also have all of these alcohol inks. I wonder if we can do something with alcohol ink. <laughs> and, then, and then try that. So I've got some alcohol ink. I've got some blending solution. I've also got some white pinata alcohol ink. And I'm gonna grab the rubbing alcohol because they don't have a lot of alcohol blending solution. Um, but fun fact, you can use rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to grab some things. We're gonna do some, they're just paint blobs. They're just little translucent paint blob stickers. So we are gonna to try to make something similar. We're gonna see what we have. First, I have to get rid of the duplicates. I obviously really like this color because I've got four of them. But anyway, I'm gonna figure out um, <laughs> figure out what I'm gonna do and then we're gonna get started. I'll be back.
Okay, we are going to let these get good and dry. Some of my blobs kind of ran together, but that's okay. I definitely w was in a brown zone. I don't know why, but brown and turquoise, brown and purple, obviously. Um, so we're going to let them um, dry. Uh, I would advertise if you're going to do this, get some disposable cutting mats from the dollar store and do the inking on the cutting mat because it, I forget. Alcohol ink goes right through paper. It's pretty messy. Um, so um, do that and that'll save you some aggravation and then it, the mess will only go so far. Uh, that being said, most of the ink comes off of your work surface with rubbing alcohol. I do have a fabric cutting mat on my surface to protect my surface. So yeah, I get them at Joann's every now and then when I wear out the old one. And I use a 40% off coupon. So anyway, uh, we're going to let these dry. Then we're going to scan them um, at a medium high resolution. Then we will remove the white background. Then we will print it onto the label paper. I'm going to walk you all through the process of how I do this. I have a Mac computer, so if you have a PC, it's going to be a little different. Anyway, I'm going to go get some steps in and get my tomatoes and coffee creamer, I guess. And uh, I'll be back. This is for the alcohol ink experiment video. And I yes, I'm out walking the neighborhood. And, you know, sometimes it's good to get out of your art space in it. Um, just gives you moments of clarity and inspiration. So maybe you're not like me and you don't want to scan them and then print them on paper, on sticker paper. But you do have clear sticker paper. You, why can't you just alcohol ink directly on the sticker paper? You could. You don't have sticker paper. Maybe you've got parchment or vellum. You could clear alcohol ink on the vellum. Uh, that might be interesting. And then just glue them down. So whatever works for you, whatever you have in your stash, try that. I may try a couple when I get back directly on the clear sticker paper. First, we're going to go for a walk and get some steps in and try to get back before it starts raining because it's really bad out. But I'll be back for you in just a second for me about an hour. Okay. Before we go scan the ones that we did on paper, we're gonna try my idea that I had while I was out walking in the clip you just saw. So these are my other clear labels I have. Um, they are for the inkjet printer. They're a two by four mailing label. I never use them. So we're gonna practice on these. We're gonna do them in some cookie sheets. I'm gonna get my gloves. I put all the alcohol ink away in my basket, but that's okay. We'll get some of it out and we will speed forward through the process. And when everything dries, then I'll be back for some more talking and we'll see what happens.
Okay guys, while the alcohol inking directly on the stickers dries, and I did way more than I probably should have because I don't even know if it's going to work, but anyway, um, the papers we alcohol inked on are dry. Now, the interesting thing about the papers, and we'll look at these first. Let me turn the light on. Um, we'll look at these first. Did that help? Yeah, I think it did. Um, is This is like the right side, and it's all dry, and that's really cool. But the back side, because it seeped through. So I think we're going to have to scan both sides. Um, so I'm going to go put my papers in the scanner. Oh, I forgot these papers are just a little bit too big. Um, but that's okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. So, where are we? We're going to cut them apart or trim them or something so I can get them in the scanner. Hang on. I finally have things working. <laughs> so I have my scanner app open for my printer and um, I always change the presets to something custom. So I'll change it from a document to a photo. Um, scan entire area, output color, and on the dots per inch I always do at least 600. Especially if it's something I know I either want to reprint over and over in this case, um, which I'll talk about in a minute, or maybe creating an image or file for the Etsy shop. So always like 600 or better. So then I'll hit the scan button. My printer is really old, it's very loud, and it's starting to like misbehave. It only works when, kind of when it wants to and if you hear a popping sound it's because I'm doing this. So, you know. <laughs> I just, yeah, anyway, sorry. So I'm going to get all the images scanned. I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me like scan each single one and I will be back. Okay, I've got all of my images scanned and saved. Is that better? I don't know, maybe. Let's see. Um, we're going to open my... Um, uh, again, I have a iMac, and so I'm going to use Pages for this. You could use, you know, whatever software you have, use that. Um, I like things that are easy. I don't like to do complicated things with like um, Adobe or anything. If it needs that, then I either have my daughter help me or my friend Mike Deegan, to be honest. I'm going to just make this just a little bit bigger, although I don't think I want it that big when I print it. I'm going to go over here to Image, Instant Alpha, and this allows me to take out the white background. Everything that's blue will be taken out. And I think that's good. Then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to move it over to the side. I'm going to make it really little, although I don't necessarily want it that little when I'm done. I'll pull in the next one. Do the same thing to it. And get them all um, so that when the printer prints, it's not trying to print the white paper. It's only trying to print the um, colorful image. And that's it. All right, so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back.
Okay, so we printed our first batch on the clear label paper. Now this is a full sheet of clear paper. Um, this isn't like mailing labels or anything. And this is how they turned out, which I think is pretty cool. And let me cut one out and t show you all while I, why I was just fascinated with the idea of this when I saw them on Essie's channel. We'll pick one. And again, if I make this, um, either if I make this a download, I need to put my reading glasses on in the Etsy shop that you can print yourself, or you decide to do this yourself, you can print them any size and then just sit and cut them out, print a whole bunch of them, and then sit and put on some of your favorite YouTube, <coughs> my channel, <laughs> and, um, and then just sit and cut them all out. And then this is what they'll look like cut out, but this is clear label paper, remember? So the white part that you're seeing is the backing. The hardest part of this is usually with any sticker, whether I make them or I buy them, is getting the backing off. So when you remove it from the paper, I mean, look at that. Layered in a collage, like how cool is that? You don't have to buy them. The ones from Japan are great, but you can make them yourself. And, um, and or I'm going to have this particular file of these images available in the Etsy shop. You could print them on your own clear sticker paper um, and just do them yourself. And then you have the file forever. You can print them as often as you need. We're going to let the other ones that we did alcohol directly on the labels dry. And then we'll see how those turn out. I have this sneaking suspicion I'm going to like the way these look better because those ones might be more opaque, but we'll find out. I'll be back. Guys, our alcohol ink experiments. So I will say if you do alcohol ink directly on this, the label paper, it takes a long time to dry. So it's been almost five whole days and most of these are still not dry. You can see the shine there where the spots are still wet and sticky. I'm assuming it's because the label paper by its nature is not a porous material. It's not like re regular paper. So the ink, alcohol ink, takes a very long time to dry. I do have two sheets that are dry enough um, to see what the difference is in appearance when we put them on the dictionary paper with the one that I printed from my printer side by side. But I wanted to show you these wet ones first. Even the ones where at first glance right there, you think that's wet and then you're like, oh, no, wait. And if you touch it, it's sticky. So while I think it's definitely doable, for many, many reasons, I think that I would prefer to print on the label paper rather than do it ink directly on it. Um, you have more control over the size of the blotches. So if you do it on the regular paper, and your blotches come out real big, when you scan it and reprint it, you can make them any size that you want. You can make them smaller. It doesn't matter how they turn out in real life. Um, but also the drying time, like I have no patience at all. My middle name is not Patience or Grace. Um, and so, yeah, I have, yeah, it's taken a long time. I'm gonna just stack them up again in a corner out of the way, but I have them spread out here on my ironing board just for you guys to see and for me to pick through to see if I could find any dry ones to finish the video. Um, it's, again, definitely doable. Like, this one is pretty wet. It's definitely doable, but, um, yeah, just don't be in a hurry to use them. Just do them and then set them aside to dry. And, by the way, these cookie sheets are from the Dollar Store. Um, I know Dollar Tree is about to raise all their prices, but uh, these cookie sheets were a dollar each, and they're not the best cookie sheets for baking on, but they're great in the art room. All right, let's go grab one of the labels that is dry and put it on our dictionary uh, paper and see what the difference is in its opacity and transparency and appearance on the dictionary paper and compared to the one I printed out um, from the other ones that I made in, earlier in the video. Let's go check Fresh it out. your memory earlier in the video. We put some alcohol ink directly onto some very smooth finished paper to make some alcohol ink 
abstract shapes, blobs, paint blobs, and we discovered that we got some interesting shapes and colors on the back as well as the front. And we did a whole bunch of them. We scanned them, turned them into a digital image, and then I printed them on clear label paper, which I then cut out like this. Made a whole bunch of stickers. Right Now I have those digital images forever. I can print them out at random, whatever I want. Okay, then we decided to experiment with alcohol ink directly on the label paper. I had a different kind of configuration of the clear label paper, but it was the same type of paper, if that makes sense. We put alcohol ink directly on it, and it is taking forever and a day to dry, although we did it the same way as a regular paper. And this is the way the two of them look side by side. So this one is the one with ink directly on the label. This is the one printed from the computer. This one's more transparent than that one, although that one is still transparent. I don't think I really um, have a preference in appearance of one over the other. I think just because, as I say, stated already, this one, once you have it scanned and turned into a digital image, you can adjust the size to be bigger or smaller. Um, I, that particular one, let me see if I can find it somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. So that particular blue one, the, that's the original next to it on the paper. So I was able to adjust it, make it smaller. I could print it the same size as it was originally. I could make it bigger. So you have more options in the finished product that you go to use in your collage than you do with this one where you just only have that one. Um, but use what you have. Maybe you don't have a scanner and a printer. Well, so then do it, do it this way. You get a really actually nice, interesting result. Just don't be like me and maybe use less alcohol ink. I will be trying these uh, next with watercolor paints because I still am interested in doing that. Um, I have to get more paper first because now I've used up all my paper. But I think it's an in interesting way to make some DIY embellishments. Yes, of course, you can order the stickers, um, but, you know, I already stated all my reasons why I probably wasn't going to do that because I have all the stuff. I can make something similar and I've been using them in my um, daily practice journals and my daily practice quote journal. Um, I will put some pictures here at the end, but um, I think that you should give it a try and see what you think. I'd love to see what you come up with. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down below. Don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links, um, including my Linktree list of links, which is, includes my social media stuff, my Facebook group, my Etsy shop, all the things. I am going to turn my ones that I scanned, these, wait, these? <laughs> into a um, digital download. So you'll be able to download those because maybe you don't want to be bothered with anything. You just want to get the file and do your old printing. Cool. I'm going to turn it into a digital download and I will have it in the Etsy shop linked down below. So check it out. That's it for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Share your experiments with this technique in my Facebook group. I would love to see what you um, do with it. Tag me in the post and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.